All right, this is grade two, module four, lesson four, and we're going to continue adding and subtracting multiples of 10 with some ones. And uh, we're going to do that within 100. We're not going to be using the standard algorithm yet. We're still going to be using these mental math strategies and these um, kind of alternate techniques designed to build uh, number sense. All right, we're going to be using. Um, particularly the number bond system, although we're going to add a new one, which is tape diagrams. So here's an example of what I mean by a tape diagram. So on this problem, so we have a classic problem, 17 minus 9, that's not all that hard. Uh, however, it sometimes if we can take a problem, 17, in this case, like 17 minus 9, and the kids are supposed to subtract, and they're using the official algorithm, golly, if they could just take that problem and instead make it a little easier to get the same answer, in this case, it would be uh, 17, I mean, 18 minus 10 to get 8. Um, because while 17 minus 9 is 8, and that's not terribly difficult, 18 minus 10 equaling 8 is way easier to do, and it's the same answer, right? So we want students to be able to recognize how they can take a problem that's been given to them, like in this case 17 minus 9, and make it an easier problem that has the same answer. Um, so he, as a teacher, how are you going to explain that? Well, there's a variety of ways to do it. So you could start off by saying, well, 17 minus 9. So you take 17 cubes and you line them up and here's where you get 17 cubes. And I'll, I'll color it in right here. Here's my 17 cubes. And I'm going to take eight, 9 cubes and I'm going to line them up right here. And then you can see that the answer is going to be this gap right here. There's our gap. And that's the answer, 17 minus 9. So if we were to add an extra cube at the end of each tape diagram, that doesn't change the gap right here. And this is the answer. So the idea is we're going to use these tape diagrams, particularly starting with cubes, and you model it with cubes, to show that 17 minus 9, if we were to add 1 and add 1 and get 18 minus 10, 17 minus 9 is going to give us the exact same answer as 18 minus 10. Because, yes, while these tape diagrams got longer by 1, they each got longer by the same amount, leaving our gap, which is the answer, alone. And so that gap stayed the same, so our answer is going to stay the same. And 18 minus 10 is 8. And that's way easier then 17 minus 9, or at least students are going to be way less likely to make a mistake. Another way you could show this, it's not in this particular lesson, is you could show it on a number line. And I'm going to draw just a portion of the number line. Here's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and I'll even squeeze in 19 here. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the idea would be 17 minus 9 is saying how far is it to go from 9 to 17? There's our answer. While 18 minus 10 is saying how far is it to go from 10 to 18? And the idea would be students are going to see that, oh, that distance from 9 to to 17 is exactly the same as the distance from 10 to 18. The only difference is the entire thing has been shifted up by 1. So that's this is an alternate way to explain why we're allowed to add to each of these numbers to change the problem and yet get the same exact answer. So let's put this to practice. So we know we have um, 60 minus 29, and uh, so we want to bump that 29. So we're at the distance. Here's our 60, and here's our 29. 
And we know that the answer is going to be the distance between uh, 60 and 29. But if we add by 1, if we add 1 here and 1 here, we change the problem from 60 minus 20, 29 to 61 minus 30. And 61 minus 30 is equal to 31. And there's our answer. So our gap between 60 and 29 is 31. And let's practice that on 56 minus 38. Uh, we can draw the tape diagram, and I'm going to do it way over here. So we've got 56, and we've got 38, and there's our gap. So here's our 56, here's our 38, and here is our gap. But we can see if we add 2 here and add 2 here, our our gap stays the same, so we haven't changed the answer, but we have changed the problem to something a little bit easier, which is going to be 58 plus 40. And 50, oops, I said plus, I meant 58 minus 40, and 58 minus 48 is going to be 18. Uh, some students might even start to see this really nice kind of cool um, technique that I've seen a lot of second graders do, which is they start with 56 minus 38, and they just kind of say, oh, I want to add by 2, and now I get 58 minus 40, and that gives us 18. So I've seen this little notation by second graders, and this is a really good no notation, and I would not stop them at all because that works just as well. Now we're going to move to the number bond in order to do the same kinds of problems. And so using a number bond to add. So in this example, this first example A, uh, we see that we've got 28 and we need two more to bump it up to 30. So we, we decompose 43 and turn that into 2 plus 41 because now that 28 plus 2 gives us our multiple of 10. So that gives us our 30, and then we add the next remaining portion, which is 41. So 30 plus 41 gives us 71. So the idea is take your number, your leading number, in this case it was 28, and, and do what you need to do in order to bump it up to the next multiple of 10. So we're going to do the same thing down here with 49 plus 26. So we've got 49. We need one more in order to bump it up to 50. So that means I'm going to take my 26 and I'm going to change, I'm going to do a number bond and decompose it to 1 plus 25. Because now 49 plus 1 gives me 50. And that's going to be then 50 plus 25. And that's what they want us to write here. 50 plus 25. And then 50 plus 25 gives me 75, and that is our answer. All right, for our final problem, uh, we are being told to use a number bond or a tape diagram to solve this question. And it says Kylie has 28 more oranges than Cynthia. Kylie has 63 oranges. Uh, we're going to use the, um, let's use a tape diagram that on this problem because we know uh, that we're going to do 63 minus 28 in order to figure out how many oranges Cynthia has. And so the idea would be, let's model this. So we're going to look at 63 right here. There's our 63, and we need to subtract 28. So I'm just going to represent 28 with this right here. And the gap between these two, there's our answer right there. And we can make this problem a little bit simpler by adding 2 to each tape diagram. Because when we add 2, uh, yes, we change the length of each of those tape diagrams, but the gap stays the same, so our answer stays the same. So instead of doing 63 minus 28, we're really 
doing 65 minus 30, and 65 minus 30 is 35. And that's our answer. So we would say, in a complete sentence, we would say, um, Cynthia has 35 oranges. Now, on this problem, uh, the tape, uh, the number bond method is not, uh, the students haven't quite learned how to use the number bond method on this problem. Uh, but since it's up there in the directions, let me show you what that might look like because there's a variety of ways to do it. We could do 63 minus 28, and one way to do that would be to, oh, let's say, let's turn this into 23 and 5. All right, so 28, we're going to use a number bond to turn it into 23 and 5. So now you have 63 minus 23 is 40, minus another 5 gives us 35. So that's one way to do it. Um, on, at this point on this lesson, I'm not entirely sure the students have been trained on how to use the number bond for this kind of problem, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. And that is second grade module four, lesson four.